Hey guys, it's unbox time. Blackest Night, Black Lantern Superman, let's unbox this. Let's go. So that's right guys, it's unbox time. Welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. The channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme and you're home for tech toys and talk always. And this time around we're talking toys. We are talking the Blackest Night Superman from the Blackest Night uh, Black Lantern Wave here from DC McFarlane. Now this is part of a Build-A-Figure. One of the reasons why I love, uh, well there's a few reasons why I love uh, DC McFarlane. Uh, one, I love that they only require four figures to be purchased in order to complete a build a figure that's one and two is the intense sculpt sculpt the intense detail that they usually throw on their fat their figures okay yes a lot of these are still pin figures at least the pin uh color matches certain parts of the bodies unlike some figures marvel legends well we won't get into that guys but guys this is part of build a figure away for atrocitus if you're not familiar with Atrocitus, he is pretty much the big bad of the Red Lantern. And the Red Lanterns are pow powered by Rage. Very very opposite than the Green Lanterns, which are Willpower. So we have the Black Lanterns, which are all pretty much comprised of Earth's mightiest but dead heroes. Such as, we have Dead Superman. We've done previous unbox of Death Storm, which is formerly Firestorm. And we have many, many more guys. So guys, what do you say we get right on into this? Let's go. Okay, guys. So we got him out. Because um, I don't like to make you guys sit through me ripping through plastic in that box because it makes a ton of noise. So guys, we got our card. We got our dead Superman. Now, I've honestly, full disclosure, I've not read Blackest Night. So I do not know every exact detail of it. Although I do want to get it. Uh, I do want to pick up the graphic novel or use their DC app and uh, read the story so I have full knowledge of it. It says here, uh, real name, Cal L. Clark Kent's adopted name. Sent to Earth from the dying planet of Krypton as a baby, Cal L. was found by farmers Martha, Cl uh, Martha, Martha and Jonathan Kent and raised as their son Clark. As Clark grew up, the radiation from Earth's yellow sun gave him enhanced senses and extraordinary powers once fully grown he used these powers to protect his adopted world as superman after death after his death in infinite crisis the superman of earth 2 is revived by a black lantern ring and attacks the superman of earth 1 and superboy connor kent in smallville now funny it says that because guess what guys there's no ring on him i'm going to show you guys right here here is, we can clearly see no ring on him there. And also this hand has no ring either. So I'm curious as to where his ring is. Is it somehow this headband that he's wearing? I mean, don't get me wrong. He is a very menacing, very decomposed looking Superman. And I love, don't, I mean, that's, that's probably one gripe I have. He, he comes with no accessories whatsoever. No, uh, no lantern, no nothing. Uh, I do love the tattered separate slits of the cape. As if the cape is just completely deformed. So I guess it's part of his outfit right here. Um, I think they did a really good job here. We kind of have the throwback to his belt buckle right there. As you guys can kind of see. Let me get that to focus just right. I mean, he is a great figure. I love that, unlike with uh, this, I mean, this match is great. Because I had a gripe with Deathstorm, how his gauntlets, his his wrist gauntlets right there, aren't as noticeable here. But they have the black on black accenting perfectly here. And also the silver. I think the silver pops much better on Superman than it did with uh, Deathstorm. But at least Deathstorm came with a lantern. So that's one little thing here. We got the uh, gray undertones on the black cape here. Um, I think they did a really, really good job. I love the texture, the different kinds of uh, material uh, designs, the grooves on here. The paint is a little sloppy down here, but hey, we can excuse that. We can even uh, perfect that a little bit. 
Uh, again, we have pins that match pin pin tones here, which is something we don't get with marble. Well, I know that they, they've worked out to the the pinless joints, but again, his arms, his shoulder joints, they don't necessarily feel loose, but they're not overly stiff. Now you don't feel like you're going to break anything. And again, we're going to see: do we have the same problem we had with uh with Death Storm, or can we actually pose? Superman and maybe some of his more traditional posing. Uh, I think we're going to have the same kind of issue here. Maybe if we just rotate things a little bit more. Now we're still going to have kind of top heavy. Maybe if we alt push his torso forward a little bit. No, it's still going to it's still going to lean back. So something like this, I'm definitely going to have to use a flight stand, which I happen to have one here. Plus, it is Superman, so yes, he can fly, of course. Look at his obligatory pose right there. Maybe rotate that, or let's see if we can rotate on this one a little bit. This stand I'm going to have to readjust. It's one of my older style stands. But, I mean, that just gives you a good example on how we can pose him. So this is going to work. This is going to work perfectly fine. Because let's face it, Superman should be in a flight pose right there. And this is a very menacing looking flight pose. Is it not? Let's see if I can rotate my camera just a little bit so you guys can see. I mean, come on. This is, you see this coming flying at you. I mean, I love the, just the heat vision coming out of his eyes and how dark his eyes are right there this is tremendous i mean they did a great job on the sculpt here the cape everything looks fantastic here the only complaint again is because of the posability i am having to use my own flights my own stands for these guys but i'm making it work and plus i don't I, honestly i don't throw these stands out these stands i keep because they work perfectly for marvel legends Star Wars Black Series and everyone else. Now, here's something else. We'll take him back off the stand real quick. Okay. The build a figure late uh, that we have here here is atrocious, but take a look at the damn size. These are two legs. Take a look at that size right there, guys. Tell me that's not nuts. Okay. Tell me this is not nuts. That's. We'll just. Bend his foot, so it's. Take a look at that right there, leg to leg. Let's see. We'll, we're going to even this up right here. That's perfectly level right there. Take a look at that. That's practically almost the entire size of the figure right there. So Atrocitus is going to be pretty damn huge. And yes, even the build the figures have the uh, the toe bends, and I can't wait to finish building Atrocitus once we unbox the other the other figures. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I do like this Superman. Um, it's just one, I have to mark him down for the ring. And if I'm creative, I might just take a little a little, uh, little, brush and maybe I'll paint one on him. I have to I have to go through the story itself to see, you know, did Superman actually wear a ring or not in the series? And by the way, if he did, please let me know in the comment section below, guys. But I am, I'm, I really am loving this figure, though. I just have to adjust the stand so we can get him uh, flying and staying flying very quickly. I'll do that right now with you guys. A lot of these stands I get are adjustable by screw, so you can have them bend at certain heights. You want it to be lower, you can always do that as well. There we go. So we'll just readjust that. I'll have his leg back up, his other leg down with his foot. And there we go. We got Superman in his perfect pose right there. But I'm loving this figure. Again, there's a lack of effects here. The heat vision eyes are great. It would have been cool if we had some kind of an alternate head and stuff. Because I wish... Now, with Death Storm, we didn't get any extra hands. We just got a his Black Lantern, which is a Silver Lantern, technically. 
and we got the build a figure pieces. There was no energy effects. I wish we would have. Uh, you know, at least every designer, every manufacturer is different. Sometimes they give us alternate hands. No alternate hands here. Um, or at the very least, what if they would have given us uh, an alternate head with some beams coming out? That would have been cool. Um, but the, that and the fact that there's no ring on here. Um, like I said, I'm going to do my research and see if that's the case. If it is, then maybe I will do a little, little dab dab and give him his own ring there. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Superman, the Black Lantern Superman, I'm going to give him, uh, I'm going to say a 9. I'm going to say a 9 because the lack of energy effects, he makes up with the red heat vision eyes right there, guys. I mean, that just looks menacing right there. I'm loving the look. He looks decomposed. You can see chunks of flesh that are obviously missing from his decomposure. Uh, great job on a sculpt. Like We can see the grain... Of the decomposing veins right here we can see obviously like dehydrated body um, the head sculpt the hair is a little bit messed up as it should be I think they did a tremendous tremendous job on him guys so guys you tell me what you think of that I think they did a great job here um, the cape sculpt on here is just tremendous it looks like we have two parts that are just one part right here I mean they did a great job on here um, just tremendous. I'm loving this figure. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give him, like I said, about a 9. Um, I definitely think the lack of uh, power effects or energy effects, they made up with the eyes. Um, so they did tremendous there. As always, McFarlane does a great job on the sculpts, and I really am loving this figure. But yeah, guys, you can't go wrong with this one. If you see him on the shelves, you see him at your local comic book shop, go ahead and grab him. It's an amazing, amazing figure. I'm loving this. Because, uh, I mean, just to show you guys, side by side, here we are. We have Death Storm with Superman, or should I say Black Lantern Man, Black Lantern Superman. And I know, I don't know if he's a part of it as well, but this is Dark Flash, which we've seen versions of him from the Speed Force. He is undead and decomposing, so I am going to be displaying him with the others. And I just, I love how we had the silver contrasting with the gold of Dark Flash. But he's an undead, and I just, I just think it looks amazing right here, guys. Uh, this is a major, major go for you guys. If you see him, you definitely should grab him. I'm loving it. Again, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know. Drop it in the comment section below. Set me straight. And by the way, guys, if you have any comments, questions, concerns about these figures or anything else you might want me to feature in a future video, well, you guys know what to do. You just got to hit me up at my socials right there at the bottom of the screen. You can message me directly at Instagram on at Dave's underscore dimension, or you can even add me on PlayStation at the same ID, Dave's underscore dimension. If you have trouble adding me on, just message me on Instagram. We'll take care of it from there. Also, if any of you guys feel so inclined that you want to drop a few bucks our way, uh, we have a cash app, dollar sign Dave's Dimension, to help support the channel. But guys, we have a lot more figures coming through the pipeline. As you guys can see, I have a whole shelf. I have two Build-A-Figure waves from Marvel that I have yet to get through. We're going to be unboxing all of those. Those are all the Disney Pluses. So guys, we got a lot coming through the pipeline. We have our charity stream that's going to be launching again. Stream for the Cure is going to be taking place this spring, guys. So if anyone wants to help support that or be a part of that, hit me up at Instagram at Dave's underscore dimension. And guys, I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. We are on the road to a thousand. That's right. Right now we we need less than 40 subscribers to reach a thousand. And we're still another 1500 watch hours away, but we're going to be doing some game streams. Hopefully that's going to help garner a few more watch hours and help get us to that point. But I want to thank everyone who's been supporting the channel. And guys, as always, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So I owe you. Okay. And guys, you know what I'm going to say. I say it every single time. I want you guys to keep on busting, and I will always catch you on the flip side. Take care.